Once upon a time there was a poor girl named Karen. Karen was so poor that she only had clogs for shoes, clogs that damaged her feet, so she was barefoot in the summer. In the center of the village lived an old shoemaker who gave Karen a pair of slippers with a few pieces of red cloth. The shoes were a little awkward, but the girl loved it. When his mother died, a rich lady took the child and looked after her as if she were his daughter. The first thing he did was throw his red shoes, which horrified him, and buy him a more discreet shoe. When the time came to confirm the girl, the lady bought Karen shoes. When they went to see the shoemaker Karen fell in love with red patent leather shoes that the cobbler had made for a countess, but they were not doing well. The girl asked her benefactor who, since she did not see well, did not know that they were red. On the day of confirmation everyone was looking at Karen's red shoes. And the girl could not think of anything but her red shoes. When the lady found out she reprimanded Karen and ordered him not to put them on again. But the girl decided to take any opportunity to put them on and disobey the lady. The next Sunday, when he accompanied the lady to mass, the girl put on her red shoes, despite the good woman reminded him to wear black shoes. When they arrived at the church, a beggar offered to clean their shoes. What pretty dancing shoes! said the beggar to the child. Try not to let go when you dances. And as he said this, he touched the soles of his shoes with his hand. On leaving the church, the beggar again said. What pretty dancing shoes. Immediately, Karen began to dance without being able to stop, led involuntarily by her red shoes. The coachman, who was waiting for her and the lady, put the girl in the carriage and took off her shoes. During those days the lady became ill and Karen had to take care of her. But they had invited her to a great dance. After a few moments of hesitation, Karen decided to let the lady sleep and go to the dance in her red shoes, not remembering the incident she had suffered on Sunday. When she arrived at the dance with her red shoes, they began to move their feet and the girl began to dance without being able to stop. Days went by and Karen continued to dance and dance. I was tired, but I could not stop, so I cried as I danced, thinking how silly and vain it had been and how ungrateful it had been to the lady who had helped her so much. The red shoes, I cannot. She cried desperately. I have to remove these shoes even if they have to cut my feet. Karen went dancing to the butcher's house. When he arrived, still dancing, he shouted from the door. Salt. Salt. I cannot go in because I'm dancing. Cut off my feet so I can stop dancing, because until then I will not be able to regret my vanity. When the door opened, the beggar shiner appeared who had charmed the red shoes at the door of the church. What pretty red dancing shoes! He exclaimed. Surely they fit very well when dancing. Let me take a closer look. As soon as the beggar touched the red shoes stopped and Karen stopped dancing. Karen learned her lesson and, grateful, returned home to take care of the lady who had done so much for her. Karen put her shoes in a glass urn and never disobeyed again.